Remember in 2020, there are influencers and trading guru who preach a message like this. Welcome. I know the future. I know all the stocks that will do well in the future. I know that Zoom stock will do better because everyone in the office will use Zoom and therefore let's pump the stock to $500 a share. What those influencers have achieved are quite amazing. They managed to pump Zoom stock from 107 US dollars in March 2020 to the all-time high in October 2020 at $550. But since then, it's not a great story for anyone who bought at the all-time high because the stock loses at least negative 70% of its value. And no, and, and also I know, I know when the Peloton stock, everyone will exercise in the house. They don't want to go exercise in the outside. It's too scary. I know it will do better. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome to the channel. Well, those two stocks in this month of January 2022 has been through a lot of correction. I mean, a lot of correction. So in this video, I want to share with you the Magellan Financial Group on their global equities January update. And they place quite a shocking bet on the industry sector that people are trying to avoid. And by the way, you can subscribe to Magellan Asset Management Limited YouTube channel as well. I'm not promoting or I'm not getting paid from Magellan at all. I'm just saying that I like how the investment strategy work by understanding the business. And also, they have a realistic return of expectation of net 9% per year. Net of expenses and so on. And I think that is realistic and also inspiring to a lot of Australian investors because... If you can beat your superannuation return, you've done well and do not envy those people that can do 200 or they can do 10,000 or 30,000 passive income a month or so on. Just do that what works for you according to your risk and return judgment that is suitable for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a summary of Magellan Global Strategy. We're gonna talk about inflation, and also travel stock bets that they made. We just want to see whether the valuation is reasonable when they buy it. So inflation, that is the topic that has been going on for months now. Everyone is worried about inflation. What's the cost? Is it the US federal government printing so much money to the system and this is the conse consequence? There are a lot of reasons for it. But one of the obvious one is the supply chain disruption. As we know, COVID impacted a lot of workers, essential workers as well. And if they say, if they are a truck driver and they get COVID, who's going to replace them, you know? And one truck driver or even three truck driver got COVID and they cannot find a replacement and say they have to deliver trailer to Cairns from Brisbane and there's no truck drivers that can do it. There's a disruption there. And that resulted with empty shelves on supermarket and so on. And what if we go bigger? What if it's china who has zero tolerance COVID policy that they can lock down a city just because they found it is dangerous to open it up imagine how big of the disruption of the global economy because maybe there are multiple factories that need to supply to america to europe and so on and also we're seeing excessive demand on certain product category particularly consumer electronics and then that caused the global chip shortage as we know as well and aside from that the commodity price remains high oil coal lithium iron ore and that is great for anyone who hold asx 200 etf or african argo because they will do well with high commodity prices and obviously people are not spending as much on hospitality travel and leisure business because it hasn't gone back to normal and frankly people are staying away from this kind of investment so let's talk about magellan travel stock bets if you listen to one of their podcasts or or interview with their deputy cio dom julani he said that they make some travel stock bets on Saffron, a French aircraft engine manufacturer, and also Booking.com and Freport and Aina. It's a German and Spanish airport operator. And there are big companies. It's say Booking.com has 96 billion market capitalization. Freport is the smallest one with 6.5 billion 
market capitalization and i just want to learn from them because there is nothing wrong to be a shameless cloner if you see they are a value investor and they have a proven tech track record of 12 percent for the past 14 years why not learn from them and i think it's it's the cheapest way to improve your skills by learning from the success of others so I list out the revenue of 2022 just to see the impact of COVID with these travel stocks and the revenue in 2019. So in 2019, says Saffron, the French uh, aircraft engine manufacturer, reported a revenue of 28 billion. The COVID pandemic impacted the, re the revenue by reducing it by 34% to 18 billion. And the earnings is dropping from 2.7 billion to about 400 million by the way all of these figures are in us dollars i already converted from the euros currency to us dollars and obviously the red colored earnings are the negative one for the airport operators because there's a lot of lockdowns everywhere internationally globally and there's not many traffic going on in the airport industry but if we calculate the price to earning ratio comparison so the market capitalization is based on january 2022 and if you get the pe based on financial year 2019 before covid pandemic happened it is actually price quite reasonably around 20 for saffron and booking.com and fairport is about 16 if magellan hypothesis is right that there will be a travel boom after we we are totally done with this virus we are completely got it under control with all of this policy and how to do the rat tests <laughs> or pcr tests and vaccination certificate and everything back to normal then they may get 9% annual return with all of these investments. But if you base it on the earnings of financial year 2020, you can see the COVID impacted. And it, it sounds like crazily priced. A Saffron, based on financial year 2020 earnings, have a PE about 137. Or Booking.com has a PE about 1,600. And all of this bet they make it in 2021 and that is interesting that in as a value investor you can do a lot of research and hard work to find value even the stock market overall is highly priced just what happened in 2021 and early 2022 right now we see a lot of correction happening it'll be exciting to see what's going to happen once the interest rate is increased even further there will be a lot of volatility and a lot of stocks will go on discount. That's another opportunity for the prepared mind. And I like to finish with where Magellan stand. It's interesting that their few Alphabet or, and Google, Nestle and Amazon still reasonably priced. That is really interesting because they just keep reaching all time high all the time. Like even Google right now is like 1.7 trillion US dollars market cap and Nestle is already at 340 billion swiss franc market capitalization so what do you think what is the sector that will boom i like to hear your comment on this thank you so much for watching